Hey guys, this is the one and only Sonic Ranger back with another video review of Epic Proportions and today this isn't technically a video review. This is just a show off of something that came in the mail today that's coincided with Galvatron here. So yeah, Galvatron's back at the reviewing station, but if you recall, in my video review of Galvatron, I did say I had some upgrade parts coming in very shortly that I was going to use to spruce up this poor figure. And by poor, I mean some areas on him really needs improvement, but the figure overall is still pretty cool. For my first ever Galvatron action figure, I'm pretty impressed. There's just some things about it that I wish Hasbro didn't do to this guy. One particular thing being this helmet piece here. This flip up helmet, stupid idea. I don't know what Hasbro was thinking. Maybe it was, you know, to save costs on producing this figure with the gimmick already of being a triple changer. I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with the Titan Master. I don't know. But then again, the execution like this was done over to uh, Ultra Magnus originally, and it was done much better. I mean, we got a full on helmet with Ultra Magnus. This figure, on the other hand, it's a half helmet, and not even that. It ain't even half. It's just, just this front plate here. This face plate, it's got to go. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and move Galvatron over for one second. Keep him on camera because there's plenty of room. This came in today. This is Shapeways. Ever heard of this company? Me neither. But, yeah, it's been recommended a few times from some people on YouTube. Letting me know that if I was looking for certain needs to certain Transformer figures that I wasn't too impressed with, this is the place to go. It's kind of like 3D printing, only it's like a major company that does such a thing and prints out in single colors, but you have a variety of color choices. Just don't forget that. But anyway, I've already marked off all the important information that you can't get, you can't get, yeah, nah, 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 nah. you'll never know who I am. Of course, everybody knows who I am, but anyway, let's go ahead and open this up so we can see what exactly is in this box. Yeah! So excited. So excited. Get rid of that. But, uh, anyway. Hello. One second. Thank you. This is not your average package. Products at Shapeways are imagined by independent designers around the world. Each one is made just for you, brought to life in our 3D printing factories when you place an order. Pretty much what I said originally. We hope you're happy with your first, that's right, first Shapeways experience. If sadly something didn't meet your expectations, we're here to help. Just email us at blah 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 blah. And please share your experience with Shapeways. It's on this side here. Shapeways, there's so much more to discover. Visit shapeways.com slash go slash discover. There you go, guys. I guess I can recommend them, all depending on how this turns out. What do we got? Bubble wrap. That's nice. I'll be using that for shipping. And more bubble wrap. What else could possibly be in here besides bubble wrap? Wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was in this box here. That's it. This box. This big box for this thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. It's not about the box. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. So let's go ahead and open up this thing here so we can see this helmet in all its 3D printed glory. Now, obviously, I chose purple and chose a pretty smooth design. Well, it uh, looks pretty dang good. There's a little bent right here, or maybe that's just some flash to the thing because it is 3D printed. But uh, yeah, a little flexible. Yeah, see, see, a little flexible. Not much. I wouldn't risk it. But uh, anyway, let's do this. So we're about five minutes in this video. Simple enough. Flip this down. Put this helmet piece back. Get in there, please. God, you get back in there. There. So now we have that. I'll go ahead and remove his arm cannon because that's the next thing I'll be working on. But uh, anyway, purple matches pretty good. 
I'm actually impressed. But uh, what you want to do is simple enough. Slide it over. And lo and behold, Galvatron and all his purple great goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's not too big. It's not too shabby. I like it. I really dig this. Hopefully this is coming out pretty good. Yeah. Well, of course, in like direct sunlight, you can kind of see that the purple doesn't exactly match up. But for what it is, it's not bad. It's really good. And, I mean, there you go. It doesn't hinder the articulation to the head at all. Like that flip-up helmet piece did. It sits on there pretty good. I wish it could come down just a little bit more. Maybe if I was to go in there and dremel a little bit, maybe I could get it to sit down just a little more. But for what it is, it's not bad. So, anyway, I mean, I don't have to go through the articulation or anything like that. I mean, I can definitely say I recommend this. This, this looks good. But it could be just a little better. Now, obviously, Fake Buster has got a new design helmet, which I've already ordered. I will be testing it out. I told him that sign me up. I'm going to test this thing for you. So when it gets here, I'll review that one as well. So this isn't the last time you've seen Galvatron on this channel. He'll be back again very shortly. But one more time, just have a quick look around at this helmet. This... Oh, man, this makes Galvatron look so much better. Yeah. It's not too loose, either. I mean, as you can see, it will take the Titan Master right off before this helmet piece actually comes off. It ain't tight. I'm sure I can get it off by just putting my finger around the face of Galvatron and just, you know, lifting up the helmet like so. It's got this open gap in the back for the legs of the Titan Master which I'll pull him off one more time you can see so that doesn't hinder the transformation for the Titan Master and it looks overall very good very very good just gotta get that flash piece off and I'm sure this will look a lot better oh yeah this is really good work Fake Buster did an awesome job and I truly recommend this helmet piece and if this really isn't your taste I mean it does kind of fit and then it, in some way it doesn't kind of fit with the figure overall like I said Fake Buster is working on another Galvatron helmet that's resembling his G1 self so when it gets here I'll review that one and we'll take a good look at it but until then I'm done with this video overall like I said I can truly recommend it so, you know, I guess I can leave a link down below so you can check it out for yourself and uh, get an overall perspective on whether or not you want to order this thing. And uh, I can definitely say it truly does help. I mean, you couldn't do this with Galvatron until now. I mean, this is good. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, i got to stop. This video's gone on long enough. So, questions, comments, you know what to do. Leave it down below in the comment section of this video. If you like the video, review. And if you actually like this Shapeway product, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like this Shapeway product and you didn't like the video review, well, sorry. And if you haven't already, why not hit that subscribe button for more video reviews just like the one you're reviewing today. Even though this wasn't really a video review from the reviewing station, this is the one and only Sonic Ranger signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you whenever you see me.